This morning in our series Note to Self, we hear from record-setting NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson. She returned from the International Space Station back in September after a 288-day mission. Whitson has spent more time in space than any other American. Wow. While in orbit, the 57-year-old biochemist started writing a letter to her 9-year-old self. She finished it with us back home in Houston at NASA Johnson Space Center for her Note to Self. Dear Younger Me, I've learned a few things over the years that I would like to share with the younger version of myself. There it is, Look a U.S. flag on the surface of the moon. You just watched on TV as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took the first steps on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Although at the time it was an unbelievable moment in history, seeing it with your own eyes made it real and believable and achievable. It made you feel small, but filled you with excitement. That moment in time planted a seed of inspiration in you. Now it's up to you to nourish that seed and grow it into more than just a dream. Next year, your dad will get his private pilot's license. You will get your very first ride in an airplane. The exhilarating view of the cornfields from above will inspire you to fly as well. However, it will take several years of raising and selling chickens to earn enough money to take your own flying lessons. But just remember, learning to fly with that chicken money will be the first step toward a higher purpose. Because one day, you will become a real space explorer. Next is Sally Ride. The year you graduate high school, NASA will select the first female astronauts. You will dream of exploration. Know that what you dream for might seem impossible, but you will be successful as long as you make your life decisions based on your own value system and not others. So ignore the naysayers, ignore the people who say you can't become an astronaut. Instead, use it as motivation. It will be 10 years of applying before ever becoming an astronaut. The rejections will be discouraging, but in your typical style, you will just keep trying. All those years of anticipation will be surpassed Five, when the solid rocket three, boosters ignite and you will literally roar into space. And lift off of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. Seeing the Earth for the first time in orbit, you will be surprised that you never noticed the quality and texture of colors. High above Earth, you will remember what your parents taught you growing up on the farm. Problems don't always have elegant or expensive solutions. Dad will teach you that number two wire and pliers, plus a healthy attitude, can fix almost anything. U.S. astronaut Peggy Whitson returned to Earth today. Believe it or not, you will spend more time in space than any other American astronaut. And has now spent more than 665 days off the planet, more than any other American astronaut. And earned the nickname Space Ninja. There's our resident Space Ninja. You will grow soybeans on orbit while your father will grow soybeans on Earth. You will have the opportunity to help build the engineering marvel that is the International Space Station. She now becomes the first two-time female commander of the International Space Station. You will walk in space ten times. I'm heading back to the poet. Copy, Peggy. You're clear. You will find that living in space can actually become a home, in spite of tools floating away. Alien to all you know, you will adapt and you will love it. Know that even though it is incomprehensible to you, you will be a role model. I'm still struggling with this one, so you need to step up a bit earlier than I have done. I would tell you not to underestimate your abilities, but since I know you, I'll just say, challenge yourself. You will learn that you are so much more capable than you might imagine or even dream. Sincerely, the older you.
Wow. Beautifully done, Peggy. Oh, that was so happening. amazing. But, yeah. You think about all the accomplishments you make in life, and it really does come down to knowing that your parents are so proud of you, That's right? That's the first thing they always say. It yeah. always boils down to that. I like how she said, challenge yourself, and that it started with chicken money. Yeah. yeah. It's not so bad, you little space I'm always struck by everybody who goes into space uh, somehow sees how we are a small part of something yeah. much larger. Yeah. I imagine that you see a lot of things up there that you don't really pay attention to down here. But my big question after watching that piece, what was that green stuff flying through the air? Please jello. let it be jello. I think it was jello. Please let we'll it be jello. We'll leave it at jello, right? But, it was but, jello. But she caught it. What an inspiration she was. It brings tears to your eyes. What an inspiration Nicely she is to so many women.